And now in our final session together, we'll complete the sequence by learning how to tie up all the loose ends. Because although the conversation might conclude, professionally taking care of a telephone inquiry doesn't come to an end when you hang up the phone. I mentioned when we started this module that this would be a super session. Those are the sessions when we pick a specific factor that we want to focus on and then we just blast straight into it, short and sharp. So for this super session, I've put together for you a checklist of 10 essential tips for tying up loose ends. Depending on how your law firm is set up, there may be more, there may be less, but if you use these 10 as your guide, then you'll be pretty well covered. So if you're ready, let's get stuck in. Your number one loose end to tie up is to make sure that you've made a detailed file note. You mightn't think so, but this applies just as much to inquiries that don't proceed as those that do. Because your firm may need to act against this caller in the future, but they might try and allege that there's a conflict of interest and your firm can't act. There have been very high profile cases where this has happened. Or someone could try and assert that you gave them certain legal advice that they relied on to their disadvantage and they commenced legal action against your firm for damages. Or they claim that they thought you were going to be taking some action on their behalf and assumed that you'd done so and now they have a statute barred claim. So even if the inquiry doesn't go anywhere, you really need to give full attention to your file note. That includes making sure that it finds its way onto the firm system. And since there won't be a client file, there needs to be a record of it somewhere. The next tip is don't keep the details of the call to yourself. Let your supervisor know the details of the inquiry. You never know what you might have missed and your supervisor will be able to provide input as required. 